Hello again, my awesome subscribers and YouTube pals. I'm here with something incredible. Well, in incredible to me anyway. AT&T or Samsung or whoever is in control of these updates has actually released Android 4.4 for the Samsung Galaxy S4. I've been waiting on this for a while and I'm sure a lot of you have been too. And it's here. Like, I'm, I'm not lying. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on TouchWiz real quick so I can show you all the differences and changes and stuff. Alright, so here we are. This is the 4.4. You can tell because of the transparent, uh, what do you call it, the status bar at the top. And also by checking our system version. Oh. 4.4.2. That's um, KitKat. There we go. So we can spin the little KitKat thing around. Oh, Android 4.4. Did we do anything else? All right. So there's my proof. I'm done proving myself. Uh, I just had to do that in case people. We're gonna try to call me a liar or something. And um, there was this feature for the Nexus 5, the OK Google command. Um, it's supposed to work like all the time. I guess not. I guess that's Nexus 5 only. Hold on, let me see. Hel OK Google. Hello Google. OK Google. Hi Google. Okay, so. As you can see, that's not working. Sorry. Um, it says OK Google to launch voice search. All right, so let's try it one more time. OK Google. OK Google. All right, so Google's not ready to respond to me right now. So we're going to go ahead and see if there's anything different about this operating system. I've had it for a day. I've been playing with it. Um, overall, it really is a lot faster. Like, if you just look at that speed right there, that I've never been able to do that. Let me see if I can do it faster. Excuse me. So as you can see, it is a lot faster transitioning those windows right there. So, first we're going to start out with looking at the status bar. I'm trying to keep this video really short, so I'm going to have to go through it fast. Status bar looks a lot um, flat, a lot more flat than it was before. We have a different, the notifications line looks a little different. Overall, nothing's changed in here. Alright, so we also have the dialer, which doesn't seem to have changed. I don't know why that is. Like, I saw the Nexus 5 launcher, I mean, um, dialer, and I was just amazed by it. And then Samsung went and did this. That, that's, that's a disappointment right there. I'm really disappointed by that. Everything else looks the freaking same. The, even the camera. I thought at least the camera would get a touch-up or something. What is this? What is this? This is, no... Just, just no. It's the same camera we've had before. So the camera and the dialer have not been changed at all. And I don't know why that is. All the time it took them to release this update. A cool thing about this update is that by default, okay, by default, you now have the option of, where is it? choosing your default home screen and default messaging app but that's that's built into the system now you can switch between them easily without having to go to it and go to disable what is it uh default programs or something i don't know but now you no longer have to do that you just simply go in here and change it so that's a cool thing They've also added, at least on my version, AT&T, Samsung Galaxy S4, there's a thing called the wallet. I'm pretty sure it's for holding your credit card information and stuff, but because I don't have a new SIM card with secure LMA, I cannot use it. Which is kind of disappointing. I wanted to see what that was like. So, 
I'm going to rate this update right now, like, based on what I thought was going to be in there and what is here. I'm going to have to rate this, like, a 2 out of 10, honestly. There's nothing here that shows off Android 4.4's new features or anything. It's just really, really boring, I have to say. Uh, it is faster, like... The speed is just in insane, but it's that's there's not much difference. Like the games and stuff take up less memory because of the system not having to do all the loading and stuff. See that game loaded extremely fast, but I don't know. I think this is on max graphics too, so. The game is running beautifully right now. Let's check these graphics settings. Let's turn these up. So yeah, the game is running nice. Don't know why I dug that staircase there, but alright. So Android, basically, if you have the Galaxy S4, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same on Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, AO, or whatever you're on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. There, Maybe your carrier added a couple new programs, but overall, just thinking about the and Galaxy, I mean, blah, just thinking about the Android 4.4 update, there's not much features and apps or whatnot that's been added to this and it's kind of disappointing maybe they'll add some in the future i don't know we can't be sure of it but maybe they'll maybe they'll step their game up and add something but for now we're stuck with just new white icons on the top of the screen yeah so uh if you haven't already got this update um, you should check out your system, I mean your settings, go to more I believe, about system and software update. Check for a software update and you should see if there is one available. I'm just going to do it for the heck of it. Oh, I can't do it until 7 minutes because I just updated to this. So, you should definitely check that out and see if you see it. Like if you have T-Mobile or Sprint, please tell me if you're carrier like updated the dialer or something I don't know this just seems really pointless to have updated to galaxy or I keep saying galaxy Android 4.4 and to not really add features to it doesn't make any type of sense whatsoever so yeah thank you for watching because I know I've probably been boring this whole time I'm boring myself like I'm standing up right now and I'm about to go to sleep so if you got through this whole video thank you for watching and please tell me what you think down below in the comments I love to hear from people who watch my videos and make sure to leave a like if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't like it though I prefer if you left a dislike you tell me why you didn't like it and if you like what you see and you want to see more amazing videos because you are an amazing person then hit the subscribe button and Thank you for watching.